We're going to draw fish today, but what I want you to notice is we have three fish on our page. They all have the same kind of body, tail, and fins, but this one is medium, we made him short and fat, we made him long and skinny. So by understanding the main parts of the fish, you can make just every different kind of variation. Ready? Let's draw. We're going to start with our medium size fish, okay? So over here, we're going to make room. Up in this corner, we're going to draw our medium fish. So we're going to draw, it's kind of like a football shape. Up and down. Now we're going to put our tail out, out, close it off like a little triangle at the end. We have our fin on the top and our fin on the bottom. There's a basic fish. Oh, let's give him an eye and his mouth. Now usually with fish we have a little line where the head of the fish is a little different from the body where the scales would be. Now we could put scales on him, you know like kind of the bump, 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 bump line. Or you can put circles or dots, however you want to do your fish. Now let's change him up. We're going to make this fish short and chubby and have very long fins and tails. Ready? So same shape, but look how short he is. It's like a little, um, looks more like a ball, more like a circle shape. Ready? But this time we're going to make his fin, look at it's kind of wavy. Kind of like an angelfish has this very long kind of a tail. And even his fins, we're going to make them long and wavy, long and wavy. We're going to put his eye and his mouth and the little line for his body. And he's made of all the same parts, but he sure looks different than our first fish. Let's put some different kind of texture in his scales. Now we're going to do it with a very long fish. So same shape body, let's just make him long. Ready? Long and slender fish. Long. There we go. Very different shape. Very different size. Out. Out. Same thing. There's our tail. His fin. Long and sleek fins. Let's give him his eye. And his mouth. And for this guy, we'll put a line on his head, but let's try a different kind of pattern. We're going to put some stripes on him. And you know, sometimes when it's something like this with the fish, it's kind of fun to make the stripes not so even and kind of artsy, make them a little more unusual, kind of a little bit more movement to them. And there you have three different fish all made out of the same shapes. Have fun.